A new bill proposed by a Florida Democrat would make it illegal for a minor to post a picture of anything even remotely resembling a gun on social media. Democrat Jason Pizzo introduced Senate Bill 1310 into the Florida Senate on March 5th. The bill would make it a misdemeanor for anyone under the age of 18 to post photos of a firearm, BB gun, airsoft gun, or anything else that resembles a gun, including this Pop-Tart and the state of Florida itself. Pew pew! The penalties would include fines of up to $1,000 and making the kids spend a year in jail. Because it's for the children. Parents would be ordered into parenting classes and community service. A violation would also lead to the seizure of firearms under certain circumstances. Both the classes and the community service programs would be set up by the Department of Juvenile Justice and would basically be parental re-education programs. What exactly is the treatment here going to be then? It's quite simple really. I just need to show you some film. You mean like going to the pictures? Something like that. The bill declares that the community service programs would involve a hospital emergency room or other medical environment that deals on a regular basis with trauma patients and gunshot wounds. The child responsible for posting the photo to social media would also be required to attend these community service hours with their parents, again, in an emergency room or hospital setting with the intention of having children and their parents be traumatized by seeing gunshot wounds. I'm sorry, but what kind of f***ed up is that? I'm pretty sure that if a parent did that on their own, someone somewhere would be calling abuse. But it's okay if the government does it. Other things that could get your kiddo in trouble under this law? Your kiddo posting pictures of his or her airsoft games. Photos of children attending gun safety courses. Photos of children hunting with their parents. Photos of children playing shooting games at carnivals. A kid posting this photo of a Nerf gun. And any photos of your kiddo involved in any of the shooting or gun safety activities they might encounter at, say, the Boy Scouts or 4-H. The child doesn't even have to be in the pictures they post, and photos of real guns or lookalikes would automatically be assumed to be a violation of safe storage laws, which would now be amended to include social media posts as unsafe storage. <laughs> Are you serious? The bill would also give the police the authority to conduct a warrantless arrest when they suspect that a minor has violated any aspect of the law. This law is all kinds of unconstitutional. Not only is it a direct violation of the Fourth Amendment, it's basically punishing kids for thought crimes. It's telling them that even pictures need to be censored and that any interest in self-defense or hunting, antique firearms, shooting sports, gunsmithing, or anything else remotely gun-related that you can think of is wrong. It's telling young people that being even remotely interested in guns can get them arrested and that they can't express themselves without their parents being chastised as bad parents and re-educated. <laughs> When the First Amendment issues with this bill were posed to Senator Pizzo's office, one of his legislative assistants, Linda Kraft, stated that there would be a special amendment to the bill to clear up that it addresses only illegal activities. I wasn't aware that Nerf or Airsoft were illegal activities, but there we go. I mean, if it were illegal for kids to use BB guns or play Airsoft, then they wouldn't make these cute and tiny little kid-sized pink ones. Now would they? Unfortunately, at this time, whatever this illegal qualifier amendment is has yet to be seen. Another version of the bill was also introduced in the Florida House. Looks like Pizzo is pizzing on the First Amendment in order to violate the Second. That is your Second Amendment and Firearm News for the week. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment down below, maybe some more name puns. <laughs> and if you really like my channel and want to help support it in other ways, you can do so over at Patreon or through a one-time donation through PayPal or crypto. As always, thanks for watching, stay safe, and happy shooting.